Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the reverse triangle inequality. Most of you have probably seen the triangle inequality for real numbers, which says that for all real x and y, it holds that the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus y. The reverse says something slightly different. It says that for the same variables, for all real x and y, we have x minus y absolute value is greater than or equal to the absolute value of the abs of x minus the abs of y. This gives us a sort of reverse approximation of this expression. We can actually have plus y as well by replacing the negative y with its opposite, we get x plus y is greater than or equal to x, the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of negative y, which is simply the absolute value of y. So you can see that it's going in the opposite direction of the normal triangle inequality. So let's try to prove this inequality. I'm going to show you two proofs. One is the, st the proof that um, uses the technique of squaring that is also used in proving the regular triangle inequality and it's going to help with the equality condition. And we'll discover what that equality condition is in just a moment once we do the proof. And the other proof uses the triangle inequality to prove the reverse triangle inequality, but it's more difficult to derive the equality condition from it. So let's do the first proof. We want to prove that x minus y here is greater than or equal to x minus y. So we square both sides, and I want to emphasize that Squaring is reversible because both sides are positive, or not positive, but non-negative. That's an important distinction. So we square both sides and we can, we're going to be working backwards. We get this squared greater than or equal to this squared and because we're squaring we can drop the absolute values on the outside so we get x minus y squared greater than or equal to the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y squared we get x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x squared minus two abs of x times abs of y plus abs of y squared. And we can once again drop the absolute values. So we get minus two xy abs plus y squared. And now we do some cancellation. And we're left with the absolute value of xy is greater than or equal to the absolute, just a regular x, y. And this is obviously true because the absolute value of something is greater than or equal to that thing. And equality holds if and only if by going backwards through our steps if the absolute value of x, y is equal to x, y. And that's true if and only if x, y is greater than or equal to zero. And that's true in two cases. One, it's true if x and y are both non-negative. And two, it's true if x and y are both non-positive. So these are the two equality cases. And what it really means is that if we have the real line here and we have one side of it including zero and the other side of it including zero 
x and y are both on the same side. So that's what it really means. And either one could be 0. So that pr proves the reverse triangle inequality in the first way. I just want to show you a second way of deriving it that uses the triangle inequality. So remember, the triangle inequality says the regular one, not the reverse, that the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus y. And we want to prove the following. The way to handle this is to take the right side and take off the absolute value. So it's either absolute value of x minus absolute value of y, or it is absolute value of y minus absolute value of x. And this expression here on the right side is equal to the max of these two. since the two are simply negatives of each other. So the absolute value is the bigger one, which is the non-negative one. So if we can show that x minus y absolute value is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y, and we can show that the absolute value of x minus y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of y minus the absolute value of x, then we're done. And this is what we're going to do using the triangle inequality. Let's, let's um, take the y over to this side and the x over to this side. So we get absolute value of y plus absolute value of x minus y is greater than or equal to x absolute value. And this is true because y plus x minus y is equal to x, which is what we have on this side. And here we're going to sort of rewrite it this a little bit as absolute value of x plus absolute value of y minus x. So I've taken a negative here. And this is greater than or equal to the absolute value of y. And this is true because x plus y minus x is equal to y, which is what we have on the right side. So that proves the, the inequality once again. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.